अमेरिका की साझेदारी के लिए इवन स्का इज नॉट द लिमिट फ्रेंड्स हमारे संबंधों का सबसे महत्वपूर्ण स्तंभ हमारे पीपल टू पीपल टाइज है भारतीय मूल के 40 लाख से भी ज्यादा लोग आज अमेरिका की प्रगति में महत्वपूर्ण योगदान दे रहे हैं आज सुबह व्हाइट हाउस में इतनी बड़ी संख्या में भारतीय लोगों की उपस्थिति इस बात का प्रमाण है कि इंडियन अमेरिकन्स हमारे संबंधों की असली ताकत है इन संबंधों को और गहरा करने के लिए हम अमेरिका द्वारा बेंगलुरु और अहमदाबाद में कौंसुलेट्स खोलने के निर्णय का स्वागत करते हैं उसी तरह सीएटल में भारत का नया कौंसुलेट खोलेंगे इन रिजाउंडिंग टेस्टमनी टू दंट्रीज ग्रोइंग स्पेस प्रोविस India has embarked on a significant journey by joining the Artemis Accords. The Artemis Accords is an international collaboration led by the United States to facilitate mankind's second landing on the moon by 2025. For the unversed, the last time a human visited the moon was in December 1972 during NASA's Apollo 17 mission. It has become more than 51 years for a fully funded manned moon mission to materialize. At the heart of the Artemis Accords lies a common goal to enable humans to step foot on the moon once again. The ambitious Artemis program which is a central pillar of the Accords seeks to achieve this feat by 2025. India's participation in this collective venture marks a significant moment in the nation's history and has far-reaching effects for its technology sector. Prime Minister Modi's recent visit to the United States witnessed the first major agreement as India decided to join Artemis Accords on the 22nd of June. ISRO and NASA have both agreed on a joint space mission in 2024. The momentous decision underscores India's dedication in contributing to the global space exploration and a drive to bolster its own technological capabilities. A lot has changed since I came here seven summers ago. but a lot has remained the same like our commitment to deepen the friendship between india and the united states in the past few years there have been many advances in ai artificial intelligence at the same time there have been even more momentous development in another ai america and india at the turn of century now the united states has become one of our most important defense partner thank you. Thank you. i would say the scope of our cooperation is endless the potential of our synergy is limitless and the chemistry in our relation is effortless The Artemis Accords introduced in 2020 stand as a testament to unity and shared goals among nations. Built upon the foundation of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, the accords constitute guidelines that aim to govern the exploration and utilization of space in the modern era. These accords draw a framework for exploration from the moon to Mars, comets, asteroids and beyond. India's entry into a distinguished group of 26 space-faring nations signifies its commitment to international cooperation in space endeavors. Some of the key commitments that these 26 signatories including India undertake are conducting peaceful activities, sharing space data, preserving historic sites and artifacts, utilizing space resources sustainably and moderating space debris. 
India's involvement in the Artemis Accords shows ISRO's contribution to the moon programs. And as a point of personal privilege, as chair of the National Space Council, I thank you for your leadership in space and for our joint work on an Earth science satellite which will help us address the climate crisis. And I will also thank you because when you and I first met at the White House, I asked you to join the Artemis Accords, a commitment to the safe and transparent use of space. And today I am happy to report, as you have, that you have joined the Artemis Accords. The Artemis program is structured in phases, with Artemis I marking an unmanned mission to the moon. Artemis II, a crewed lunar flyby. And Artemis III, a human return to the moon, envisioned for 2025. The significance of India's role in this endeavor is multifold. ISRO will embark on partnerships with NASA and other signatories in exchange of technology that could propel India's lunar and interplanetary ambitions, including Chandrayaan-3 and the Gaganyaan missions. ISRO as of now has successfully tested propulsion systems for Gaganyaan. By next February, the Gaganyaan mission aims to carry astronauts into the orbit for three days. Chandrayaan-3 has started its journey towards moon. Our dear LVM-3 has already put Chandrayaan-3 craft into the precise orbit around Earth. 170 by 36,500 km was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now. And let us wish all the best for the Chandrayaan-3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days. So let me wish all the very best to Chandrayaan-3 for its further journey towards moon. India's reputation for cost-effective space missions can bolster the Artemis program's efficiency and resource management. India's participation is not a space tech collaboration, but a diplomatic statement of its soft power. India's entry represents its active engagement in shaping the future of lunar exploration. The Artemis program will extend economic opportunities to government and private tech companies. While India's commitment to the Artemis Accords opens unprecedented opportunities, it also brings forth challenges. Balancing the Accords provisions with existing and emerging multilateral treaties requires meticulous navigation. Moreover, India's participation could be viewed through the lens of global power dynamics potentially impacting its relations with other space giants. The participation in Artemis Accords shows India's potential to unfold the saga of space exploration. Back in 1963, India's inaugural rocket was transported on a bicycle and launched from an unlikely location, a church. Fast forward to 2023, ISRO is poised to achieve the feat of soft landing the Chandrayaan-3 on the south pole of the moon. As uh, we have been knowing, Chandrayaan-3 has been on its way towards the moon. It has already been inserted into the lunar orbit. It was a quite a complicated process. It happened yesterday, and ISRO conducted this uh, step uh, very successfully, and it has achieved a, the desired orbit around the moon, which is 164 kilometer nearest point and 18,074 kilometers the farthest point. And in the few days that follow, uh, its orbit is going to be lowered, that means its orbit is going to be circularized till we achieve about 100 km by 100 km orbit, which is uh, circular. So that uh, by 17th August, uh, we should have achieved that and on 17th August, uh, Chandrayaan 3's uh, uh, propulsion module and lander rover they will be separated and lander rover will be placed in another orbit which is elliptical and that is 30 km by 100 km. Then we have to wait uh, when the right uh, and the opportune moment comes and that will be on 23rd August in the evening we will witness a soft touchdown by the lander rover. This time lander has been designed uh, more carefully, it's stronger and it has uh, it, it has better uh, uh, sensors and of course its controlled uh, descent will be watched and it has been very much uh, perfected. So we are very much hopeful that the landing is going to be successful and uh, on 23rd August we are going to uh, feel uh, and witness that. If successful, Chandrayaan-3 can make India the first country to explore the dark side of the moon.